Hey, Derek here, and this is the cheapest flywheeler I have ever bought. Now, I was just browsing Amazon, and occasionally I come across stuff like this. This was only $20. This is a $20 clone of the Magpie. I'm gonna say something crazy here. I like this more than the Magpie for one reason and one reason alone. This actually works. The Magpie is a huge pain in the ass to get it to do anything. For me, it jams all the time. It skip starts because the, the cylinder over rotates. It's just very, very picky. Whereas this just straight up works. Now, yes, this doesn't look as good as the Magpie, but the Magpie is also like $180 compared to this one being 20. The only time I would ever really recommend the Magpie over this is if you're looking for like a cosplay item, because it does look pretty good. I have recorded a review for the Magpie, I just haven't posted it yet. Anyway, for $20, this is pretty darn good. I didn't expect it to be as functional as it is. The external build quality is just ABS plastic. I mean, it's light, it doesn't feel like the most solid thing in the world. It doesn't give me the impression that it'll just like snap on you, but uh, it very much so is $20. Although if I had to guess a price on this, I would probably have guessed it to be closer to like 40, not 20. It also comes with a red dot you could put on this rail up here. You might want to use that because you kind of can't really see the sights because the rail just kind of gets in the way when you try to look down. So the sights aren't very usable on this blaster. It also came with a fake suppressor. Yeah, because that's how revolvers work. Why would you try to put a suppressor on a revolver? Anyway, it also obviously comes with a battery and charger. The battery goes in the grip. Just remove this door here. Don't need any screws or anything. It has a, a little hole for a screw, but it locks into place pretty dang good without a screw, and it didn't come with a screw. And there's not too much space in the grip. You have to find a very specific slot to get the battery in here, but that's it. That's the whole battery. It is, according to this, a 7.4 volt, 500 milliamp battery. Uh, it's a very tiny 7.4 volt, but 500 milliamps, that, that makes sense. You have to kind of mess around with this when you try to put it into the gun. There's a very specific slot it slides into, and you got to find that slot to sort of get this out of the way. Otherwise, you won't be able to... There we go. Otherwise, you won't be able to, to close this back up. But once you get it in there you're good to go. How it actually functions is this releases the cylinder, so you push that down, open this up. If you want to, you can take the entire cylinder out and you actually load it from this side with the darts facing forward, but you can still load it from the other side as well. There's like a little plastic piece that's supposed to stop the darts from completely coming out of the cylinder and it works pretty well, but you can also just kind of push it right past that. And if you don't want to take the cylinder out, there is a little slot here and you can just rotate it and load it from the back if you want. And this does freely spin, so if you want to spin it, flick it shut, you can do that, and it continues to spin on here without any issues. Now, one of the issues I had with the Magpie is that while I was shooting it, eventually one side of this cylinder is going to get lighter than the other because one side doesn't have darts, one side does. And the Magpie would just rotate past a dart, and that would happen every time, well, the, the times where it doesn't jam. That would happen every single time, but I never had that issue with this. It's pretty simple, and if you look it inside, it very, very clearly is a Magpie clone. It's just got a pusher in there, and then the actual cylinder just has a little plastic star kind of thing that just causes it to rotate. So yeah, very simple design. Uh, the flywheels themselves, <laughs> they are ribbed. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to pick this up. Definitely not from this angle. But the flywheels are ribbed, and they spin up actually pretty dang fast. They're fairly loud, not as loud as other flywheelers, but this is a micro flywheeler, so it's what I would expect. And unlike the Magpie, it has two ways of revving this. It does have a two-stage trigger, so if you want to pull the trigger a little bit, you can get it to rev before shooting, but it also has a, a standard rev button on the grip, and I, I actually kind of prefer this. It just makes it a lot easier to just keep shooting instead of doing... needing to, to watch your trigger control. And if you're revving it the whole time, then you can just... 
just fire wildly without much consequence. When I chronoed this, it chronoed at about 60 FPS, which is pretty darn good for a $20 flywheeler. However, I did come across one significant downside when it comes to this thing, and I'll toss that to previous Jarek. I've noticed the default darts these come with are about the same length as bamboo darts, but are a little bit shorter than most of your average half length darts. So I'm just gonna go through all of these and see if any of these jam up and what ones work best at this. Just to put a baseline, these are the default darts that it comes with. Not entirely the most accurate, but they work. Next up, Adventure Force Pros. Probably the industry standard for half-length darts at this point. I have noticed the cylinder doesn't spin quite as well. Might make a jam. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, pulling the trigger. Yeah, so Adventure Force Pros don't even spin the cylinder and this won't even work. Next up are Worker Gen 3s. I have noticed that cylinder spins better with these, so uh, hopefully they'll work. Nope, it just fell out. Yeah, uh, definitely not compatible. Next up are worker waffle head darts. I noticed these don't sit in the cylinder very well. If I tilt this forward, they might start falling out, but let's go ahead and try it. And yeah, these don't work in these at all. Okay, last up are bamboo darts. Now these were about the same length as the ones that came with it. So if any are going to work, it's this, but I wouldn't be surprised if these don't either. Yeah, same story. So the only choice you have when it comes to the darts that will work in this are the default darts. So yeah, the dart situation is a little unfortunate, but again, with it only being $20, I can't, it's just so hard to complain about something this cheap that functions as well as it does. And by function, I really do mean function. You can spin this, then immediately shoot it, and it doesn't matter what angle this cylinder is at, it's going to line up properly and it's going to shoot which is not something the Magpie will do. The only other downside I can come up with, and this is really nitpicking, that's that the hammer isn't functional, it's just there for looks. But again, I'm super nitpicking at this point. So I've very clearly run out of things to talk about. I'll just mention that there's a rail up top for, for red dots or scopes or whatever you want to put on here, and there's one down here too if you want to put a laser on there. Or even if you want to be crazy, put a foregrip on here. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to do that, but that's an option you can do. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling Let's just shoot it.